If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you found it motivational, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. I really appreciate those things. Let me know who you enjoy listening to or if you have a friend that hangs out with you that really inspires you or encourages you. I love to hear good stories. Hey everybody, this is Eric for Little White House and today I want to be thankful for people who are motivators. You know, in this day and age, there are people who, uh, they just kind of basically live their life in a revolving circle and they don't do anything other than work, eat, sleep, and they just carry out their life that way. They're happy if good things happen to them, they're mad if bad things happen to them, and then they die. But there's people out there that want to shoot for higher things than that. And it's hard to find those people. So today I want to be thankful for the people that are motivators out there, especially the ones that you can find. The ones that, you know, some of the ones that I've found are Zig Ziglar, Jim Rohn, uh, Les Brown, The Bible, Dave Ramsey, you know, the other day in the Bible, I read this verse and it, it really hit me because over the last week or so, I had been just going crazy. You know, I couldn't figure out why am I feeling so down and out about things. Everything seemed like a t catastrophe. And the Bible said, if you faint in the day of trouble, then your strength is small. And I started thinking, well, I'm, I haven't been going through anything that's any different than what I've been going through before. It's not like been this extra big catastrophe that's happened. It's just been over and over and over again, and I'm kind of tired of it. But, um, that verse helped me to gain the strength that I needed to keep moving forward. And so, I'm thankful for those kind of people because those kind of people that are motivators, they don't all, you know, they don't only want to uh, help themselves and they don't want to just shoot for the moon, but they want to help everybody else and bring everybody else up a level, you know, maybe, maybe everybody else only gets to Mount Everest, but they're at least a lot higher than they were. And, you know, that's you know, part of my goal is to give somebody a knot in their rope uh, by doing this, show that there are things that you can be thankful for. The Bible says that by beholding we become changed, and that applies to every area of your life. But for example, um, Last year, about this time, I started listening on a consistent basis to Dave Ramsey. And over the last year, I've paid off like over $9,000 of debt. And while I'm not exactly where I want to be yet, I am extremely grateful that I could put Dave Ramsey in my life and that he was available to me to motivate me to be on that track, to keep me centered, 
you know, to bring me back to center when I needed to be brought back to center so that I could uh, be well on my way to accomplishing a goal and to keep that goal in mind, to be, you know, that goal being to be debt free. Anyway, um, if you like this channel, give it a thumb, or, you know, hit that subscribe button, click on the notification bell, and, uh, don't forget the TubeBuddy link in the description box below. Anyway, that's my two cents for the day. Thanks for watching, God bless, and see you next time.